back to the factor uncensored. Is it too soon to call the Houston Texans old uniforms we once knew a throwback? I think so. Today, the team reveals four new fan-inspired uniforms. It is the first redesign of the team's look since he, the team's inception back in 2000. We posted a poll on the Isaiah Factor Instagram page asking you if you're a fan of the new uniforms. A majority... 86% of you voted yes. Factor producer Malia Carruthers and photojournalist John Starling went straight to the source for more reaction to the new look, the fans. Let's check it out. <laughs> I loved the red, white, and blue. I was there on day one when they announced the team, the logo, the colors. So I didn't really want a lot of change, to be quite honest. I didn't want to be heavily like looking like the Oilers, because we're not the Oilers. We're the Texans. We've always been the Texans. It's not a throwback. So I think they nailed it. They got just enough. There's four uniforms. If you don't like the one, look at the next one. I think they're amazing. The Texans said, what do you guys want? We want the fans to get a, have some input, which was really good. and. They listened to us, and they gave us what we wanted, and I think most everybody's going to be happy. I love them. My favorite is the black with the blue outline of it. Yeah, that one's, that one's nice. I absolutely love it. They, to me, they hit it. A lot of people may say they didn't get it. They got it, in my opinion. Quit hating and accept it. Embrace the new change. Just embrace it. I love it. You know, and I like the way that they're keeping the bulls and incorporating the H-Town and everything. I think it's all coming together. And it, it like, reaches a wide variety of people. You know, the younger crowd, the old people like me, you know. It's like, <laughs> oh, we like all of it, you know. So it's been very exciting. I love it. I love it. Uh, I'm afraid of change. And, and, you know, we went over there and checked it out. It came out this morning, and I was excited. Like, I was excited. And it feels like a whole new start, you know, after 20 some years, the same old thing. We got new uniforms, new players, new leaders. So we're ready. Let's go. I love it. A touch of everything. Go, Texas. I, I, love, I love all of it. I'm with her on that. I felt like they made it for me with the horns. Hello. I felt like they redesigned the whole the whole uniform for me with the horns. So um, I love them all. And I'm really digging just the amount and the subtlety of the H-Town Blue. And if people don't realize, it's not about the Oilers. It's called Historic Houston Blue. And it was the color of the cop cars and the address tiles in the city way back when. That's where the color came from. I, lo I like them. I think, like you said, time for a change. Uh, it's a new era. I would like to have seen like the, the baby blue, like the like back in the Oilers. I, I like them though. It has been an amazing night tonight at 713 Music Hall. I'm Coco Dominguez here in the Houston, Texas Uniform Release Party and Will Kunkel, sports director. So much H-Town we have seen tonight. This is how we do, Will. Like the culture in here, it's all H-Town. Like you can feel Houston in this party between the cars and the rims and that H-Town blue. If you look at the uniforms that they rolled out, the steel blue ones and the battle red, all but because of the fans. Like 10,000 fans got involved in this process, and that's why so many fans love it, because the fans got to speak on it. Now, that red is also the Ohio State red. Little known fact, they actually picked that red before they drafted C.J. Stroud out of Ohio State. I know how perfect is that. Then not only that, the blue though. Some fans ticked off, but not really. Like that's the that is the New York Yankees the blue that they were able to use. So the uniforms have been phenomenal. They've they've integrated so much of the culture, and not to mention why you're here. I want a party. Like what a party to be here. Thanks for letting me come in. No, we are definitely sneaking in after work here. So this has been so Houston. We saw Cal and Hannah receive big old huge chains. I mean, they got iced out by Andre Johnson. Paul Wall has performed. Jake Worthington has performed. And we got a chance to talk to some fans and check out some of the gear. This is brand new gear. Yes, ma'am, it is. Look at this. I'm going to be wearing it even all summer. I don't care if it's hot outside. We're ready for the new season. Our quarterback, our our new players, our new jerseys. How beautiful does that blue look with yeah. that? <laughs> we ready. Does it give you that old school Houston feel? The old school and the new school. The Oilers.
And of course, the Texans sent me some stuff. Let's take a look what's in the big box that arrived here at Fox today. We have a baseball cap, but it's a football cap. We have a Houston Texans shirt with H-Town on the back. And of course, we have a Houston Texans hoodie also with H-Town on the back. Thank you, guys. And we'll be back with more Factor Uncensored talking about the bus drivers that we appreciate here in our community. Stay with us here on the Factor Uncensored.